What's good in the hood guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been about two and a half weeks since I've uploaded onto my main channel and I feel like a huge bag of trash but in general recently I've been feeling like a huge bag of trash so we're gonna get into that here in a second but my car is a mess so I need to go clean it. I need to go basically get stuff done but I'm really impatient and I really wanted to start this video so that's uh what's going on here. I didn't even mention that it is 20 degrees outside, which is absolutely insane considering it snowed last week. But that's not the point of this video. We're heading to the car wash to go wash the car. I just got to the car wash and there seems to be a lineup. So I'm gonna skip the car wash and uh, not do that today. I got everything out, which is a step closer to where I need to be. But I need to go to the store and get a cord for my phone so I can charge it while I sleep and be able to reach it at the same time. First world problems. Now that I've completely lost your attention. <laughs> well, that was weird. Cooper, are you ready? Five, four. I didn't even get to one, pal. You're slacking. This is the first time I'm using OBS to record a video instead of recording everything separately and editing it together. Because I'm playing Fortnite, it's a computer game, it's a little bit different than Call of Duty where I can just kind of mash everything together. I'm gonna record like this so it uses less CPU and then my computer doesn't shoot the bed. So hopefully it's okay and it doesn't look too bad. If it does, I'll fix it in the next video and we'll figure this out together. Before I get into the topics guys, if you could hit that subscribe button that would be much appreciated and by the end of this video you're gonna want to hit that bell button for what you're about to see so if you could go ahead and do that i would really really appreciate it if not that's okay too welcome welcome to my channel <laughs> i don't know if you guys have seen this recently i mean you guys have all if you make videos have known about this so even if you watch videos you've been affected greatly by this change that youtube has decided to bring upon themselves to uh, force upon their users Essentially, way back when they decided to add a notification bell, at the time people were kind of skeptical about it. I didn't really agree with it. You subscribe for a reason, right? Like, you hit subscribe on somebody's channel, you expect to get those notifications. So at this time, I didn't actually promote the bell at all. I said it's a waste. Like, if people subscribe, they're going to get notifications anyway. So I wasn't too gung-ho about it. I didn't really push it on my viewers, I guess, to ring the bell. And that really backfired. Because if you did not know, if you do not click the bell, you do not get, like, any notifications. Essentially, you're put on a notification system where you get notifications every once in a while. Basically, I'm going to play a snippet of a YouTube live stream or a YouTube video that YouTube insiders put out on YouTube for their viewers to view, like, see about how their notification system works. And it's complete trash. So I'm gonna let you guys watch it, form your own opinion on it, and just let me know what you guys think about it. I think it's garbage. Like, it somewhat makes sense. You don't wanna flood people with notifications, but at the same time, the whole bell thing was just unnecessary. I mean, you click subscribe on a channel because you want notifications that they're posting. That was the whole reason to make a subscribe button. So, uh, when your fans subscribe to your channel, they see a little bell next to it, and if they hit that bell, or we, or we say ring the bell, uh, then they get a notification as soon as you go live, every time you go live. So definitely make sure to ask your, your viewers to ring that bell. Um, if they don't ring the bell and they're just subscribers, then we put them in a occasional notification state. So that means that they get algorithmically determined notifications. Mouthful there, but what it really just yeah, means... Yeah, what, what does that mean? Yeah, that, well, what that really just means is that your most active subscribers, so users who are watching your channel and your live streams, uh, are going to get notifications as soon as you go live. Uh, we also send notifications to, to users who aren't your subscribers, but they also watch your content very actively, and we think they'll be interested in, in watching your live stream, so we send them notifications as well. And then finally, uh, reminders are a key. So if you schedule your live stream in advance, uh, we, we show that to your viewers, and they can set a reminder. If they set a reminder, they get notified to tune into your live stream before it even starts. And then we send them another notification as soon as it starts so that the, to make sure that they can uh, see your live stream. Okay, so um, to summarize, because we I get asked this all the time, um, YouTube, do you notify all of my subscribers every single time I go live? We don't notify all of your subscribers, right? We notify all of your subscribers who have rung the bell, 
and then your most active subscribers after that. Okay, so we try to notify um, the people who we believe would be most likely to tune in and watch your content. That's right. While it's live. That's right. While not necessarily overwhelming and spamming um, all of your subscribers with these, these notifications. That's right. That makes sense to me. Yeah. That's what we, that's what we see our users want. Not, let's add a freaking bell so you guys can receive notifications even though you just subscribed to this channel. Like, it's just, it makes subscribing pointless. But I'm gonna let you guys form your own opinions. If you could or do have an opinion on that, drop it in the comments below because I personally think the bell should have been kiboshed the first week it was out. It really screwed up a bunch of people's channels, including my own, because me, I didn't promote the bell. When the bell came out, I was like, well, if they subscribe, they're still gonna get a notification, so whatever. I didn't promote it, I didn't push it, and it really did affect my channel, as you guys can see. The other thing that I really wanted to talk to you guys about is just kind of where I've been, what I've been doing, because I've been not posting to YouTube for like two and a half weeks, and that's kind of outrageous considering content creation is one of my favorite things to do. And believe me, when I say I have been content creating this week without posting to YouTube, I genuinely have. I've been doing something photo video wise every single day, creating something new. Whether that be just tweaking my skills, uh, learning a new effect in After Effects, just pretty much anything I've been trying to learn and kind of get better at it. Learn how to record bike BMX footage because I'm doing a documentary and I kind of have to learn that. So I went out and shot for a little bit. I learned how to film BMX like action sports, which is super cool. I'm still learning, but uh, it's really fun. It's really dope. I'll show you guys a clip of that right now. I've been learning how to edit on After Effects a little bit more. I've been practicing my photography. I went and took photos at a concert. I got a new lens, 70 to 200. Like a lot of shit has kind of just happened that I haven't really talked about on YouTube or anything just in general because I haven't really been feeling quite myself in the creation kind of way. And by that I mean I have like crippling depression because my brother just passed away and I've just been kind of blah. Okay, chill. Boink! <laughs> so with me doing all of this content creation, I mean, I've been flying my drone a lot. It's kind of shit to the bed recently. I've been trying to figure out how to fix it. Um, the gimbal was broken. I'll make videos on that with what I'm about to tell you guys here. But... I made this thing called The Camera Crowd. I'm doing it with my buddy named Connor. You guys might not know him, you might know him. He is a very talented kid when it comes to the whole website and just idea. He's very creative and he's a very good person. So he's kind of my business partner within all of this. And essentially we have a website that has a forum that has our blogs, portfolios. We're doing featured pages for people like um, really, hungry content creators and photographers were doing featured pages i don't really know what to call it eventually i want it to be a publication so essentially i can get my own media passes for concerts and stuff but as of right now it's kind of just a place to go if you're a photographer videographer anything media creation wise for you to go to share your stuff share your insight like your information um pretty much anything like that and it's called the camera crowd and it is dope I think it's pretty dope, but I created it, so. If you guys are interested in any of that, I'm gonna leave all of the links in the description. Once it hits a thousand, I think I'm gonna do some sort of equipment giveaway, like a microphone or something. Something photography video related, maybe a cheaper lens, I don't really know, but I just wanna do so much with it. And that's kind of what I've been channeling all of my, my motions into, I guess, recently. I've been working really hard on that and getting that started with Connor and, uh, it's turning out quite well. I, I really enjoy how it's going and how it's looking. Um, it's dope. You have a shotgun. Whoa. Well, like I said, I'm kind of using my goals and ambitions photography and video wise. And since this thing happened with my brother, I've been kind of a little bit more on the depressed side of shit recently so i've been kind of channeling all of that into work 
and being creative on the camera crowd and kind of getting that put together because it's just something I really enjoy to do and if I'm not feeling the happiest doing something I really do love and enjoy really helps the grieving process so I've never lost a sibling I've lost my mom and that really sucked dick but I had years to come to terms with the fact that she wasn't gonna be here forever and my brother I kind of just lost him suddenly and that really messed me up I feel quite fucked over it I'm not gonna lie so I mean channeling it into creative means is kind of just where I get the most grieving from I guess and I have plans to make something for him where I'm going to end the video. So now that I've kind of ranted and explained to you guys where the hell I've been, what I've been up to, I hope that you kind of stick here with me during this because I was kind of just getting into the swing of things not that long ago when it came to streaming. Like I streamed daily, got up to 50 subs on Twitch, and then this kind of just happened and I'm still adjusting mentally to it. So if you guys are still here, I really appreciate it. If not, adios amigos, have a good life. But I appreciate you guys if you are here. And it means a lot that you kind of stuck with me through all of this bullshit on YouTube in my life. And I just appreciate it if you're here. So have a great day. Have a great evening. If you're interested in photo and video, I'm going to leave all those links, like I said, in the description for the camera crowd. I would really appreciate if you guys followed that and uh, whatnot. But uh, yeah. Subscribe if you're new, comment below. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.